Hey guys, we're gonna come out here today out in the woods and do a little bit of a herping and catching some reptiles and amphibians. It's kind of an ugly day out. It's like really wet. It's kind of raining a little bit and misting on and off today. But it's a really good day for amphibians and maybe some snakes. It'll, it'll be hard to find them though because usually after a rain or during a rain they go down in their holes or into the water. So um, we're just going to go out here today see if we can find some stuff. Okay guys, we stopped out of the woods. <laughs> <laughs> we stopped looking around in the woods, didn't find anything in there. So we're walking along in these ponds and I saw something like swimming around in there along the shore. So I just put the net in there and then I felt something swim out of it and it was huge. And then I swooped again and I got it. And I brought it out and it hopped into the grass and then Zeke jumped on it. Right here, Zeke. And it is a ginormous female bullfrog. How do you know it's a girl? You can tell if it's a female or male because females get the red green blotches all green blotches all over them. Okay. It's um <coughs> it's really, really pretty colors on it. It's got the green all over it with the little brown parts it looks on it. It's like diarrhea. Yeah, thanks, Kyle. Um it's got the golden eyes. It's just a really, really pretty looking frog. It is so cool. I can't believe we actually caught this thing. <laughs> We've never caught a bullfrog or anything like this during the day. And especially as big and pretty as this. Oh, sorry. My eyes are cheap. Okay, well, we're going to go ahead and turn it loose. Hi. This is a two-lined salamander. Oh, found them around here at this creek. Here, thumbs under in the way. we. They're um. Stop moving. They're always under this tarp right here. Oh. And um, flip it up, and hundreds of them just swim out. We just try to grab as many as possible, but they all go under rocks and in little pools in there and stuff. They probably have to be one of the most commonly found around in this area. Yeah. They, these are really, really cool looking salamanders. You see they've got the two golden lines going down their back. Like there's one straight black line of dots going down their spine. One time there was one in our pool. Oh, it's hopping around. These things do try to hop. Oh, see? See that? Yeah, so they're really, really cool colored. And, yeah, we'll see if we can get some more. Okay, guys, we've got another. This one's a little bit of a smaller and more active one. The thing about two-line salamanders, actually pretty much all salamanders. <laughs> is it gone? Is that, no. They're really, really slippery. They slip out through your fingers, and, and if nice. you grab them by, and if you grab them by their tails, their tail will break off, and it'll wiggle around. Oh, make it fall off for a predator? No, it it it's just makes it. No, it hurts it kind of. Well, it doesn't, but it isn't as fast in the water, and it can't get away from predators. Like what? From predators, what kind they of just predators? snap these off, like frogs or whatever. will eat them, and um. They just snap their tails off. They do it on purpose. They just kind of let it go. And they watch it, and they and the predator sees it wiggling around, and they'll grab that while the salamander runs off and gets away. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, can I touch it? Yeah. Well, it's gonna run away. Okay, wait. Here I go. Where's my? Okay. Here I go, I'm touching it. Ah! I'm just kidding. Yeah, it's really, really sticky. 
Oh my gosh! Maybe once it gets dry, it gets sticky. Yep, that's what happens. It's fingers well, are so Okay, we're gonna let it go. You guys Bye. can watch it. Okay. okay, here it goes. You can see how fast these things are for swimming. Okay. Ready? Wait, it's, there's a glare. Put it like right here. There you go. And it kind of looks like a snake. Yeah, when it's swimming, they look pretty cool. See? Yeah. There it is. Hi there, little guy.